Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, we're going to take a look at something called Deep Onion. Let's get straight into it. Thank you so much for joining us. If this is your first time to the channel, hit that subscribe button below and you'll get notified every time a new video goes up. Now, if you're interested in this video, you might be interested in the series. We're going to take a look at all the different types of privacy coins over the coming weeks. I decided to start on Deep Onion because a lot of people have been asking about it lately. So I thought it was the best place to start. So basically, privacy coins implement functionality to hide your identity when making transactions. They also keep your wallet anonymous and or hide the balances of transactions. Now, privacy coins are somewhat of a contentious topic. Many figures in the media or governments have had a negative response to such protocols, fearing a new wave of illicit or illegal activity. While others like myself love the secrecy they provide to legitimate users who do not want their financial details made public. Now, there's a few of them knocking about, but today we're starting with Deep Onion. And the main reason we're starting with Deep Onion is because a lot of people have been asking about this coin and they've got a good community behind them and a lot of hype surrounding the project. So let's take a look at their website. So here is the Deep Onion website. Deep Onion is essentially a cryptocurrency that is integrated into the Tor network, thus ensuring anonymity of its users by hiding their IP addresses. Essentially, it's anonymous and 100% untraceable cryptocurrency sent through the Tor network. With Deep Onion, your anonymity is guaranteed. You can send and receive private transactions using the Deep Onion wallet. Now, many of you might be familiar with Tor. Tor is a software that allows users to browse the web anonymously. Developed by the Tor Project, a non-profit organization, that advocates for anonymity on the internet. Tor was originally called the Onion Router, hence the Onion name. So with Deep Onion, you can send and receive their native token over the Tor network. And this is some of the highlights of the Deep Onion project. Obviously, it's integrated with the latest Tor, it's private digital currency, the transactions are instant, and it provides multiple layers of protection. You can download the wallet here. It's already up and running. White paper is available here. This is the updated white paper. And the site goes through the key features of the project. So some of the main features of Deep Onion. It's default file guaranteed. Deep Onion has got blockchain verification e-commerce plugins the transactions are highly secure they've got something called vote central which we'll take a look at in a moment stealth addresses secure wallets and a successful airdrop so vote central is one of the things i really like about this project it's basically a voting platform based on blockchain technology which purpose is to gather opinions and votes concerning big ideas and essential development decisions when it comes to the project. We'll take a look at that section in a second. You can see the community has over 13,000 members. There's 31,000 threads there. Like I said, you can download the Deep Onion Wallet today. It works on both Mac and Windows machines. And this is the mobile version of the app, which you can download from Google Play. So you can send and receive Onion currency directly from your mobile phone. The application is constantly being developed with upcoming features such as Vote Central, Integration, Deep Vault, and more. So let's take a look at the Vote Central section. So this is the Deep Onion Vote Central area. So like any good project, Deep Onion is constantly developing and evolving. But the beauty about Deep Onion is it gives holders a say on the latest proposals and development issues. I think this is really cool that you can get involved in the, de the future development of the project. All the latest proposals are listed here. 
and you can vote on them and have a say in the future development of this project. So if we take a look at coinmarketcap.com, we can see the current price is just over 68 cents. It's got a market cap of just over 10.5 million US dollars and a total supply of just over 20 million. The circulating supply is 15.5 million. Now, most of these coins have already been distributed via the successful airdrop they spoke about on their website. So if you want to get your hands on these, you'll need to head over to the exchanges. They are listed on a number of different exchanges, so it's not that difficult to get your hands on them. So this is the historical data. And as you can see, obviously in January, when everything was going good, they had a max price of, I think, over $18. Yeah, 18 $18.76. Now it's currently trading at just under 68 or just over 68, like I said. So, in my opinion, if you want to get involved in this project, this is a fantastic time to get involved. You know, even if we get back up to six dollars, seven dollars on the next bull run, we're still looking at a 10x return on our investment. Now, I'm not telling you what to do. This is not financial advice, but I really like this project. I think Deep Onion is one of those projects where you either love it or hate it. I'm one of these people that likes privacy coins. So to me, Deep Onion is a great project. I already own some Deep Onion coins and at this price, I'll be picking up some more. So that was a quick look at Deep Onion. These videos are not intended to be highly analytical or to delve too much into the project. They're just a quick summary of what the project is about and what they're trying to achieve. I'll go through the other privacy coins over the next coming weeks. We'll take a look at Monero, Zcash and a few others. I hope you liked today's video. If you did, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Comment below. Let me know what you think of Deep Onion. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon.